Okay. Oh, he wants to be bang on 76. Ha ha ha, get lost. Look at that for a measurement there. What does it need to be, Watson? 76 centimetres or 760 mil. Look at that. Bosh! Bang. Always a drop, D. destroying the oak like so here that's us so those are going to run down those planks pinning those planks together we just find and then I'm going to measure this out so So, 192.3 would be there. So add 10 onto that. So we're going to call it there. So these are just basically top and bottom of the door. Uh, the window we were going to put 10 inches from the top, 10 inches being here, would be 35, 38, isn't it? That's the midpoint of the door. You could just speed cut this, I'd like to think. That's our window. Holmes is where the bones is. Papa Jones is. Okay. Well, I do think really the best thing to do with that is just bang, freehand routing is the way of the chief, as most people out there understand and know already. So let's go and get set up for the uh, routing. There's a cold. Whoa, what the sh like? Just steady with my thing. It's taken the right f***ing beating just to break. Sorry. Yeah. That was completely my fault, Watson. Yeah. Look at him. Seething with hatred there. I, I am Nick. <laughs> I am Nick. Let's move that out of Mark's uh, clumsy way. We'll call it a clumsy way, shall we? Well, um, I know. You know me. Right. If there's an accident, I'll find it. Yeah. Last thing we did, Uncle Mark, was our bead routing, which is still in there. Let's, uh, I like this router. It is bomb. I do like the DeWalt though, because it's got um, the adjustability and all the kind of bits, it's thought out. Um, I think they bought out Elu, and back in the day, Elu were a really, really good um, manufacturer of routers in fact they might have been the first manufacturer of routers i don't know i dare say there'll be someone out there that'll either correct me or agree with me but uh yeah so i've got an elu router in there back at the guy i bought it off at the time and he was like in his 90s so he must have had it since the 70s and he was saying it's just you know it's never let him down but the thought that goes went into it back then it's all phosphor bronze bush bushings and it's just a right piece of kit but this is what it developed into. Oh no, dear. 
router comparison. That's the Elu, but you can kind of you can kind of see they're practically identical, aren't they? Except that's an Elu, but it's a hell of a machine. Just got all the castings, all the brass fittings, and then it's got exactly the same setup there. Oh, there is a depth gauge, but I haven't got it. Yeah. So actually, this one's got a few advances on it. But anyway, enough of that. Let us, we'll set the depth for the cut. Lock that up, lock that off. Okay, let's go and have a little look, shall we? Okay, right, that off, that on. Let's do it. I like to have the power in that hand. Okay. Never going to drop in straight off the straight off the bat, and um, we'll just they look good letting, don't they? They do look very good, Watson. Uh, okay, that one might just need a bit of straightening. There's only so much of this I can stomach filming. Yeah, and I think that limit. <laughs> Good man. I'm surprised you went on as long as you did. You've got to think about our fans. The people who persevere along with us. <laughs> the people who put up with our nonsense. Yeah. Don't you say creations, providing nonsense. Well, we're not even doing that. <laughs> <laughs> one of those times on the journey hour where it feels a little bit sticky yeah we'll hit a purple patch soon yeah instead of this brown patch we keep wading through <laughs> So, yeah, all that in. Didn't take too long, actually, did it? No. Just show you because we're not going to show we're not going to show the process on camera. We'll just show you how we kind of tidy up these glue joints. So we've got a nice scraper, nice sharp scraper or filling knife. You can just run that down that seam there, for example, and then slight angle, nice and gently. 
And then what we do, a bit of sandpaper into that joint. And there too, into that joint. Take up any birds we've got. It's really windy today. Just go down that middle bit again. Look at that though, it comes up really nicely, doesn't it? So we've done this kind of bottom end. Obviously this is, uh, that'll, uh, that'll be the sander. actual sander, yeah. But to be fair, what we're gonna have to do is, we're probably gonna, we probably won't close the rivets today actually, because it needs to be sanded before we close these. We've just drilled through for our rivets. We haven't gone all the way through, so we can kind of clean up on the other side. So, next job is... So while we kept checking underneath, you might have noticed when we were filming that, is what I've done is I've just burst through with the, uh, with the bottom of the spade bit. So that allows me to go in from this side and create a really nice, neat hole, rather than... rather than blowing it all out. Our uh, butterfly ties are hiding that joint, but there's nothing like a nice drill, drill hole. It's freehand routing. Oh, freehand routing is the way of the chief. It's the way of Let's the chief. Let's do it. Let's get on with it. We're going to close this rivet, half inch rivet, by hand. Cold uh, forged. Forged, yeah, hand forged rivet. We're going to close it by hand onto the rove. Uh, give ourselves a minute. Okay. And we'd like to texture it in that. We'd like to peen over the finish as well. Okay. So, yay. And one, two, go. You want to do a sign off then? Uh, yeah, we'll do then. Think that's what we're going to do then? Yeah. 
yeah so I mean really rather than kind of keep Mark tied up while I chop all these in for the next hour and then fit them um, and then sand this door off that's the process today so you've seen us kind of doing all that it's just a case of I need to do a lot more of it now so I suggest what we'll do is we reconvene tomorrow at which point what we'll do is the butterfly ties will be in the door will be ready to go um, so then we'll kind of actually work on, you know, dropping these butterfly ties in and hand closing the rivets on the inside. Uh, we've then got a load of furniture to make. There's going to be a, co a couple of kind of um, sliding, sliding bolts that we're going to put on it, probably, you know, so and so. So we've got those to make. I think we've got one of those made up already. Um, then we've got a grill to make for the window that's going here. We've also got the glass to kind of sort out, but we'll need to do that with a third party. So um, because we're going to put a, uh, what do you call it? Um, double glazed unit in there um, yeah so that's kind of where we're at uh, coming along really nicely but it's just the boring stuff now it's just like kind of sanding and you know I think you can watch all you like but at the end of the day really you don't need to see me chopping these in we've already done eight of them this is another eight so it'll take the next hour so yeah cool thanks for joining us uh, day what is it day three yeah day three on this project uh, so yeah, join us tomorrow. Let's see how far we get. Nice one. Cheers. Bye. 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 Work, monkey. I know.